And now, let's move. Hello. We'll begin with a game of finding spaces. So quickly, stand up. Stand still and look for a space. Now quickly, move into your space. Let's make sure you've all moved to a good space. Stretch your arms wide and turn slowly round. And stand still and look for another good space. And quickly again, move into your space. And arms wide and turn slowly around. And just stand still. Listen carefully because I'm not going to help you this time. So you'll move quickly to a space each time you hear fast music and turn slowly round with your arms stretched wide to check your space. Are you ready? Stand still in the last space you've made, but keep your arms stretched wide. And lift one knee up to your chin. And now lift the other knee high to your chin. And both feet on the floor. Keep your arms wide and get ready to lift each knee high again. And this time, keep as still as you can. So one knee high. And change. And arms down and both feet on the floor. Now, to walk strongly with high knees all about the room, in and out of everyone else, filling all the spaces. Swing your arms strongly too. Walking strongly with high knees everywhere. <laughs> Walk strongly to a space and just stand still. Get ready now to make one big jump and lift both knees together up to your chin. Both knees high. Ready? And try again, lifting both knees high together. And once more. And now, lots of high jumps with both knees high all about the room. And move quickly into a space again. And stand still. You're going to throw one arm, just one arm, strongly into the air, lots of times, as strongly as you can. Ready? Ready? 
and throw the other arm as strongly as you can, high into the air lots of times. <laughs> And now, both arms together, strongly high. And now, try throwing one leg strongly high lots of times. One leg this time. Ready? And throw the other leg strongly high. Make sure you're still in a space by yourself. And now curl up on the floor as small and as round as you can. Tuck in your head and your feet and your arms. No part of you sticking out at all. And when you hear the percussion, you will slowly roll over just once, like a ball across the floor. Stay small and round, and slowly then roll. Stay curled small and round, and once more roll gently along. And this time, make three slow, gentle rolls across the floor. Ready? And quickly, jump up and stand still. And ready now to trot lightly on the spot where you are with small steps and high knees. Trotting lightly on the spot. Let's try trotting in different directions. First, look for a good space in front of you and get ready to trot in a very straight line forwards to your space. Ready? And now make sure there's a space behind you. A good space behind you. And ready to trot in a straight line backwards to your space. And last of all, trot round in a circle. And now you can make patterns all about the floor as you trot with small steps and high knees in lots of different directions with straight lines trotting forwards and backwards and circles trotting round and round. So, trotting patterns all about the floor. <coughs> down by yourself. Let's go on now with the story of Farmer Barnes at the County Show. Do you remember the names of Farmer Barnes' children? Candy and John. And who was John's favourite animal? Do you know? Bluebell the cow. And Candy liked best. George, the donkey. 
and Farmer Barnes, Candy and John and Bluebell and George were all on their way to the county show where they hoped Bluebell would win a prize. They'd brushed her and combed her until her fur shone clean and bright and she walked proudly along behind George the donkey's cart. Quickly, get onto your hands and feet. Hands and feet on the floor and let's see you walk proudly along all the way to the county show. Here comes Bluebell, the cow. <laughs> And sit down by yourself. Well, as they got nearer to town, what do you think Candy and John could hear? <laughs> oh, Daddy! Daddy, a fairground! Why didn't you tell us? That's my little surprise. Hold it, George. Go on, down you get. Here's a 50 pence piece. Off you go and enjoy yourselves. Thanks, oh, Dad. Thank you, Daddy. Come on, Candy. I'll meet you there. And off Candy and John ran in twisted lines, dodging and darting in and out of the crowds of people. Quickly, stand up. You're going to the fairground too, so get ready to run in twisted lines in and out of everyone else. And mind you don't bump into anyone. And stand still. Listen. There are so many things to choose from. Hey, John, what shall we go on? Hey, look, I'm going to try and win a coconut. Come on, Candy. Let's see if you can win too. You need a lot of room to throw, so make sure you're in a good space. And pick up an armful of balls. And ready to throw high and low, lots of times, as hard as you can to knock the coconuts off their stands. <laughs> And stand still again. Listen. Oh, that was no good. I didn't win a thing. I'm going to see if I can win on that stall over there. What do you have to do? It's easy. You just roll a ball down a chute and get it through a hole. Come on. Quickly, curl up, small and round. <coughs> Tuck in every part of you because you're going to be the ball rolling slowly along. So slowly and gently, three times, just three times, over you roll. And quickly, stand up again. Well, rolling the ball through the hole wasn't as easy as Candy thought, and she didn't win a prize either. But John had seen one more ball game he could try. Look, Candy, a football game. How do you play it? Just kick the balls lots of times as high as you can into those buckets. Quickly, space out. And ready to kick lots of times, as high and as far as you can. And 
stand still. Well, it was no good. Still, no one had won a prize. So Candy and John soon forgot about winning prizes and decided to have a go on the roundabout. You choose whether to ride a car, a bus, a fire engine or a bike. All right? Take hold of the steering wheel or the handlebars and ready to ride along. And quickly sit down by yourself. Listen. Come on, you two. You'll be too late to see Bluebell's competition. Farmer Barnes had searched everywhere for Candy and John, but fortunately they got back just in time, and they watched excitedly as Farmer Barnes led Bluebell proudly round the show ring. Quickly, get into twos. Quickly, find a partner. And stand still together. Listen carefully. You're going to take it in turns to be Bluebell and Farmer Barnes. Quickly decide who's going to be Bluebell first. It doesn't matter, you'll both have a turn. All right, Bluebell get down on all fours. And Farmer Barnes, you stand proudly next to Bluebell. and ready to walk smartly together round the show ring, feeling as proud as proud can be. change over. If you were Bluebell, stand up smartly now like Farmer Barnes. And if you were Farmer Barnes before, then down you get on all fours. Is everyone ready? Walking proudly round the show ring. <laughs> Space out by yourselves again now and sit down. Well, the judges looked carefully in turn at each cow that went past, and soon the results were announced. Ladies and gentlemen, the prize for the best cow goes to. Candy and John couldn't wait to hear. Buttercup! from Daffodil Park. No prize for Bluebell. Never mind. There's no use being sad. It seems we won't win a prize today after all. Everyone thought the day was spoilt and wanted to go home. But the day wasn't spoilt and they did win a prize. Just how, I'll tell you next week. Goodbye. And that ends broadcast 12 in the series Let's Move.